And here we go on a Saturday night. Two sides who both picked up their first win of the year in their last outing and want to build momentum now in 2023. It's Robertson to swing it in. And it's a good ball and it's punched away. Jared Mazzola with an early save. The ball might have been headed wide. Service from Tate Robertson. He put it right on the head. Excellent flick around the corner. Owen Green laying it off to Robertson. His square ball laid back and Green left footed. Didn't get all of it. Mazzola sprawls on top. The last year. Not sure if Patterson meant to lay it back to him. If he did, it was brilliant. And an errant pullback. Now the counter. It's one on two. It's Castro. Castro up against Cesar Murillo. Tried to dance past him. Goes down. And a free kick awarded. And a red card shown. Cesar Murillo is sent off in the 27th minute. And Lexington down to 10. It was Castro running right at Murillo, who's definitely the last defender. Didn't appear to get much of the ball, if any. And chopped the man down and has to walk, Alex Beeler says. So another to defend for Greenville, another to deliver. Robertson steps over it, delivered by Mohamed. Back post, wide open there and on frame, but taken by Mazzola. Not sure if that was for an injury. Robertson had been great so far tonight. Here come the triumph now. Across the top of the 18-yard box. Pilato almost got to that. Now Boyce looks to serve one up. Back post. It's loose. It's buried. It's Pilato again. His third straight game with a goal. And Greenville cash in against 10 men and take the lead in the 37th minute. This week, he was talking about his goal on Wednesday night, but he has yet another tonight. It wasn't dealt with this time by Lexington. The second ball left invitingly on the doorstep, and Noah Pilato didn't need a second invitation. It was Devin Boyce with the delivery, and it clattered off of Owen Green. The hero last week. Great work, Shaw and Aaron Walker. And now Gavilanes drops the shoulder. Gavilanes, Castro, it's Gavilanes side netting claiming a deflection in a corner, and apparently that's the case, it is a corner. Which would really inject a lot of life into their season, which is still very young, and will probably be fine whether they finish this win or not. But here's Brown though, Nico Brown dancing, Brown with his left, scuffed it. They've been up a man since the 27th minute, Greenville, they've been up a goal since the 37th. Leonardo Castro, able to keep hold of it, trying the spinning back heel. Now Castro has it back. It's Leo Castro, and there's the killer second goal. Leo Castro calls game. What a finish. What a moment. What a performance by Greenville Triumph on the road. It's going to be two wins in three days. Guts, grit, and goals. Well, it started with that audacious spinning back heel. Then he gets fortunate, but doesn't he make the most of that fortune? What a finish. Cliche to say Austin Causey had no chance. It's also absolutely true in this case. He's not had much to work with tonight, Leonardo Castro. Whacked clear one more time. There's the final whistle. What a victory for the Greenville Triumph. Two games in three days with a long bus trip in between them. John Harks has to be really proud of his team tonight.